Hello and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to take you through a series of steps to set up link aggregation on a Fortnet firewall. Well, this is the resource, the only resource that I have for this particular topic, and I'm going to add that in the description. So don't worry copying that right now. Just take your time and then let's go through the steps first. So link aggregation, what does that actually mean? Link aggregation simply means that when you combine more than one physical um, physical port on a switch or on a router or firewall, you know, to enable them to function as one single logical path. But why would people want to do link aggregation? Okay, well, the first important thing about link aggregation is it increases bandwidth and to um, it enhances redundancy like fault tolerance just like if one interface was to go bad the rest of the interfaces will continue to operate as if nothing happened except that maybe there might be a drop in the bandwidth okay so generally general process for creating aggregated interfaces. So one is configuration of the aggregated interfaces via or a G say or CLI, that's a command line, or GUI, graphical user. Alright, so in doing that, we have to what? So a unique aggregated interface that we need to find a name for the what? Aggregated interface. Second, we have to what? The physical interfaces or port to be configured as members of the aggregated interface. We have to define or look for the members. Which port are we going to use for the aggregation? All right, third, we have to ensure that LACP, that's link aggregation, is to be enabled or disabled. So by default, in some routers, link aggregation is enabled. And others, such as in Aruba uh, uh, switches, it is disabled. So you might have to go into the ports that you want to use for the aggregation and actually enable um, LACP. So what are the limitations? So a maximum of four physical interfaces may be combined into one aggregated interface. So at every aggregation, the maximum number of ports is four. Um, a physical interface may belong to no more than one aggregated interface. That's very clear. And when assigning interfaces, uh, to a VLAN only one interface so that means that before you can assign a VLAN to um, an aggregated interface uh, so you have to first do the port aggregation first then you assign that particular uh, group to the VLAN that's how you, it have to be done okay the protocol for this um, link aggregation is called 802.3 bonding bonding mode also known as lacp or link aggregation control protocol mode it is used for load what balancing you might hear of ether channel but ether channel that is a cisco proprietary protocol for the same thing actually so now i'm going to take you through the steps the um the lab aspect of this particular uh, protocol so let's do this so first I need to go into my uh, I'm going to log into my Fortinet firewall this model of Fortinet firewall I have is um, 100d that's the model of Fortinet I have so it's basically doesn't have any configuration on it yet so we're doing it together so I just logged in default password is empty there's no password for default so to do link aggregation when you log in successfully onto your um, graphical user interface please click on the network and then click on interfaces then under interface you click on what create new and interface so this is the step it was saying we need to give it a name so in this case i want to call it a lan lan agg LAN aggregation so I can give it an alias name but I can just or I can leave it empty so in this case I'm going to call it like LAN AGG so the type remember is 802.380 so we select that and now we have to select the members so you need to select what the members so first 
before you start link aggregation, you need to be sure that you have some ports available to do the aggregation. So in this case, you see that I don't have any a lot of ports. I just have high availability ports. Um, I want to go back so that interfaces. Then I'm going to go to the LAN so that I can release some ports on the LAN. So on the port, I have port 11, port 12, port 18, port 14. These are the ports I want to use for my aggregation because at the moment, that is what I have connected. Before we proceed on this lab, let me give you a heads up on the topology of this lab. So we here I have a switch um, that is connected with four cord, four cables to the router. So I am doing the link aggregation on this router. The ports on the router that um, the switch is connecting to is port 11, 12, 13, and 14. And on the switch is port 37, 38, 39, and 40. This is very important. And when we get there, I will explain to you why it is important. And on my one, I'm connecting to a switch so that I can get internet. Okay. And this PC is a PC that I'm going to be using for the test after the aggregation is complete. So I'm going to show you my, my setup. It's dark, pretty much dark. So this PC that you see, the Windows PC over here, it's the PC. Below here, it's the Fortinet. And above here is an Aruba switch that the four ports are connected to. So this is the topology of the lab. So let's go back to our router and continue. So remember, I just freed port 11, 12, 13, and 14 so that I can use that for what? Link aggregation. So I'm going to create interface and I'm going to call it LAN AGG. Again, alias is going to be the same. LAN AGG. And the type is what? 802.3 aggregate and then the members. I'm going to select port 11, 12, 13, and 14. These are the members. So this role is supposed to be what? A LAN is selected and the IP address. I want to assign it 192.168.3.1. And the subnet max is 255.255.255.0. And what protocol do I want to allow on this interface? I can choose these protocols that I want. Um, that's pretty much it. And I want it to be a DTC server. That means that any um, computer that is connected to the switch should be given an IP address from 2 all the way to 254. So, and I want to specify my DNS as the Google DNS 8.8.8.8 .8 and this should be good and then just click OK so at the moment link aggregation is set up and is complete so you can see LAN AGG is green so the next thing we need to do is just make sure that we do have um, I'm gonna go back into the I'm going to go into the policy object to be sure that the internet configuration has been done. So I'm going to do a policy edit here to make sure that we got everything. So implicit denial. Let's check this policy. This policy looks good. So I'm going to call it internet. This is the protocol that I'm going to use to allow me to connect to the internet after my PC in my LAN has been given um, an IP address. So internet, let's call it internet. <clears throat> okay, now incoming interface. So this is talking about my LAN aggregated, my LAN AGG. This is what I want it to be. And then my outgoing interface should be my WAN. That's perfect. And all the protocols, this is all, 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 except everything is good. So good. Okay. So as let's go back to the network interface. Okay. As you can see, port 11, port 12, port 13, port 14, before it was green, it tend to like to off. So this is where I was telling you is important to observe 
these ports because this is the port on the switch that I'm connecting to port 37, 38, 39 and 40. You have to understand that by default link aggregation is turned off on the switch of Aruba, the, the type that I have by default is off. So I need to make sure that link aggregation is on and then everything will be back to normal. So I'm going to go into the switch so I have the switch connected on my paddy. So config terminal. <clears throat> okay so I'm interface so I'm going to go into the interface remember to use the tab key to help you complete then Ethernet uh, port number 37 dash 40 this is going to be the inter inter uh, interface range that I'm going to configure a link aggregation on so that I can be able to have so now it took me into the interface then the only other thing I'm going to do now is to activate LACP so L ACP active and press enter and then link aggregation has been en enabled on the port so now we're going to go back onto our LAN and refresh and you see our link is up okay so so that's basically about about it so let me know if you have any questions in the comment section and then thank you so much for watching i hope this was very helpful for you please if it is click on the like and subscribe button thank you and i'll see you in my next video